watching this free video tutorial from mobrafplus.com. If you are interested in learning Corona 4 3ds Max fundamentally, please make sure to check out our comprehensive introduction to Corona 4 3ds Max, which is a massive 9 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona 4 3ds Max thoroughly. Hey guys, welcome back to mografplus.com. In this quick video, I just wanted to share with you two free shader ball scenes from masteringcgi.com.au that we have converted them to Corona 4 3ds Max scenes. Uh, first of all, go ahead and download the project files for this video down below in the description. And after downloading it, if you set that folder as your active project folder, and go to file open, you have these two scene files, the shader ball scene from 2014 and the shader ball scene from 2016. So if you open up this 2014 scene, this is what we get. And if I select this uh, shader ball geometry, I can simply go to my material editor, uh, create a new Corona material, assign it to the shader ball, and start the interactive render and basically work on the shader. Also, we have this liquid geo geometry. And if you unhide it, you can see we have this liquid geometry for testing out liquid based shaders like honey, chocolate and stuff like that, which can be very useful. Let me unhide it for now. So you have this option as well. And if you start the interactive render. So this is what we get and you can adjust the exposure, the highlight compression and the contrast based on the particular shader that you are working with. Also, the lighting is coming from one HDRI image that has been assigned to the environment. So if I open up my material editor and press A to open up my environment and effects window, you can simply load any particular HDRI that you want and simply uh, connect it to the environment maps a lot to kind of have a different lighting situation and test out your particular shader in different lighting and HDR environments. Okay, and we have the newer shader ball scene, which is the 2016 version. And if you select the shader ball, you can the same way assign your material to this shader ball and start the interactive render. For this scene, again, we have just one HDRI map in the environment map slot that is responsible for the lighting and you can simply change that map and get different lighting setups and this way basically test out your shader. So go ahead and download the project files for this video down below in the description and start testing out your shaders in Corona 4 3ds Max. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching this free video tutorial from mobrafplus.com. If you are interested in learning Corona 4 3ds Max fundamentally, please make sure to check out our comprehensive introduction to Corona 4 3ds Max, which is a massive 9 hour long course in which we explore all the aspects of Corona 4 3ds Max thoroughly.